can't believe you. You say you don't have time to throw a party for our first granddaughter, but you have time to chase after this I'm lying witch. After. You are too, Todd. She used you. She got you to believe that she cared about you, that she was going to take all your money and run off. She even confessed. Yeah, don't you find that a little strange? Strange how? Well, if Ted Delgado is confessing to something this big, she's surely hiding something bigger. I'm not going anywhere with you. Why not? All you ever do is complain about how much you hate being here. And when I complain, do I ever say, oh, how I wish I were being held hostage at some other kennel for unwanted rich kids? No. I always say I want to go home to be with my dad. Do you hear the difference? Okay, this time I will let you choose the school, okay? Okay, one, you haven't heard a word I just said. Two, what's wrong with this place? Well, it's no longer safe for you here. Why not? Oh my God. I didn't just imagine I heard him. He was here. Was my father here? Dad! Oh! Ugh. Kay keeps huge secrets all the time. That's her job. So I just don't know why she would cop to this. What the hell else is she hiding? Your child isn't lost, is. But it's Todd's. She had me completely snowed. I jumped through hoops to prove myself worthy of her. God, I was an idiot. At least you found out in time. Yeah, but just because we caught her in one line doesn't mean she's not hiding something bigger. What the hell is this? Daniela! You're keeping my father from me as if he's some criminal. What kind of a brother are you for helping her do this? Dad always said you were in love with someone else. Is it him? Okay, you need to stop asking questions and start packing now. So that's how it's gonna be. Mama Shark doesn't have a good enough answer, so she shuts down the conversation. Mama Shark is counting to three. You learned that in law school? Oh no. Three, four, five, six. I can count two. And right now I'm counting the reasons why I hate you. Okay, that's yeah, you're not coming back here. Okay. You're really okay with me visiting Matthew? I think he'd be thrilled to see you. Never will drive you there. Thank you so much. I feel like I haven't seen him in forever. There's so much to catch up on. I know he must have flipped when he found out that Sean woke up. You did tell him about that, didn't you? She's coming back. I know she is. Look at you. You're a lost cause. You know well as I know that you're never ever going to see her again. What happened? My mother, the bitch, she's here and she wants me to leave with her. What did I tell you? I guess the plan was too good to be true. For sure getting out of here. So are you. I'm not going anywhere with that woman. The only person I'm leaving here with is you. Greg is the reason Sean woke up, and Matthew needs to know that. I know you're worried that the doctors in Seattle wouldn't be able to handle Matthew's operation, but now they won't have to. My brother can do it. Sweetie, we just don't want anything bad to happen to Matthew. Miss Buchanan, something bad already happened to him, and there's still time to make it better. I'm going to have to tell Matthew about Sean, even if it'll make him angry at you. Oh, well, a little late to worry about that now. Well, we can stand a little more heat. You just keep looking out for him, Destiny, like you always have. So this is it for a while, huh? I don't see what other choice we have. Then you're not looking hard enough. You could have told me the truth, Rachel. It may not come easy for you, but it's better than making a fool out of me. He didn't want to hurt you. Screw that. You didn't want to hurt yourselves by telling me the truth. Did you think if you kept this a secret long enough that I'd forget that I loved you? Sean, like, take it easy, okay? Like, this is... This is what? How long have you been playing me, brother? 